You're listening to a Tales Yet Told production. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Voices in the Wood is an actual play series drawing inspiration from gothic fairy tales and 80s sci-fi action and horror films. As such, a list of content warnings, cast members, and music selection will all be made available in the description. Welcome back, everyone, to the way, way back, the den of nostalgia, a portal to a world long gone at 2048 AM, Voices in the Wood. I am your host with the most love for butter toast, Lil Harry, and with me on this journey, as always, is the wolf pack, Reggie and Donnie, let them hear ya. All right, everybody, it is a beautiful Monday evening, not morning, here in the sublime, because, you know, we can only do this show after school. (laughs) Uh, Honestly, if our teachers would let us do it while, like, instead of class, I would probably prefer that. I mean, this is, this is work, as you all know, like, I'm working towards my role. This is, hey, I'm entertaining here, huh? What am I gonna, (laughs) I can't. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Uh, I mean, I do know what I'm doing. I'm hosting this show. Now, the Wolf Pack and I are ready to sit back, relax, spin the clock back a bit. And if this is your first time joining us here in the woods, let me give you the low, low down. Thanks to the genius mind of our producer, Maggie Bly, we're bringing you jams beamed down from just outside this humble little county of ours. That's right from way out there. So if you've got a song you've been itching to listen to again, or you're just ready to discover something fresh, give us a call over at 931-218-6631. That's 931-218-6631. Now, before we get to our first caller, I gotta set the mood a little bit, right? You know, we can't just jump right on in. This is also a station where we play music, after all. So, I've been thinking about what song I was going to play. You know, I have to come on here every single day, and I've got to choose another song, and, you know, it's all of that. And, well, while I was trying to pick music for today, I remembered something. Today is the birthday of my dear, dear friend Jasper. Jasper, if you're listening... Know that I didn't dox you because I didn't say your last name. I still don't know what that word means, but uh, I, you know, you told me that one time and I figured it would uh, be right. So uh, I didn't, whatever. Happy birthday, you (laughs) son of a gun. Uh, I hope you're doing good out there. Uh, It's been, yeah, it's it's, it's been a little too long, I guess. Uh, Me and the Wolfpack were just hoping you were doing all right. So... This first song is for you, Poe by Marcellus. Gosh, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, if we go any faster, what? I'm gonna have to change my khakis. Could we slow down? Centrifugal voices, voices, weight of repeated notions, lost in the moment, stuck in emotions. Running high in emotions, lone endorphins, how that works. Nine to five in the khakis and the work shirt. Name tag with a nickname, so less ethnic. Some souls like they cell phones, cash essential worker stuff. Check, check, back break like an old vow. Low clouds rain, strangers pass at breakneck speeds. American man looks across the river and dreams. A rabbit's in hand, his fellow man cocks the heater and tells him, I feel like. Centrifugal voices and voices Weight of repeated notions lost in the moment Stuck in the motions Centrifugal voices and voices Weight of repeated notions lost in the moment Stuck in the motions Centrifugal voices and voices Weight of repeated notions lost in the moment Stuck in the motions Damn it feels good to be a cancer we're moving faster than I can manage. Damn, it feels bad to be a cancer. Do you think the customers can tell I'm high? Centrifugal forces enforces the way to repeat notions lost in the moment, stuck in the motions. Centrifugal forces enforces the way to repeat notions lost in the moment, stuck in the Centrifugal forces, the forces lost in the moment, 
of course. In low and endorphed, it's 95 in the khakis, the work shirt, for less ethnic sunk souls with their cell phones and serious chick chick. Centrifugal forces enforces the way to repeat the notions lost in the moment, stuck in emotions. Centrifugal forces enforces the way to repeat the notions lost in the moment, stuck in the. Centrifugal forces and forces lost in the moment, of course. In low and endorphins, 95 in the khakis and the work shirt. But less ethnic sunk souls with their cell phones and similes check check. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate your business. You are a honored and valued customer. <laughs> okay. And that was Poe by Marcellus. I, uh, <laughs> fun fact about my friend Jasper, um, I don't know if he would be okay with that. Uh, Jasper used to go into work, not necessarily in his sober mind. He was great at working though. He always said that he, he always said that he needed to smoke right before going into work and like. 30 minutes before work closed to kind of get him out of corpo mode, whatever that means. It, it, <laughs> he was, uh, he was a, uh, he was a very good friend. I hope you're doing well, Jasper, if you're listening, but enough of that. We have our first caller. So Reggie, put him on. Hello. You are on 2048 AM voices in the woods with Lil Harry. Who's calling? Oh, am I supposed to speak now? Um, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Usually, uh, that's how most conversations go. Uh, well, uh, hi. I'm Sorrel. Hi, Sorrel. I'm Little Harry. <laughs> how are uh, how, how's it going? What's on your mind? Um. Well, uh. I I kind of recently came into my my role. It's actually uh, much like yours. I am. Oh. Uh, the role I was given is uh, entertainer. Well, look at that. Well, hello, my fellow. <laughs> the tip of my hat to you. Yeah. Um. I was wondering if you've ever had dreams about. How you wanted to be an entertainer, or or the way you were going to be an entertainer? Uh, like dreams as in like aspirations, or are you asking like nighttime dreams? Like like nighttime dreams. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, I've had uh, plenty, especially. Um, I don't. Uh, if you listen to the show, uh, I, uh, you may know that I'm. Uh, I did a lot of acting when I was younger. Uh, and stuff like that. And so, I get, like, especially, like, during that time, like, I, uh, you know, you're in a show, right? You, so many, like, you know, weeks to months, like, you know, uh, uh, remembering lines and things like that. Like, you just kind of get into character, and sometimes that bleeds into your dreams, right? And, you know, I had dreams about full movies and, and shows and stuff that I'd never been in or, like, being on talk shows, stuff like that. Uh, I think it's it definitely... It feels pretty natural, is what I'm saying. Um, sure. I... So, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but, yeah. You seem a little quiet. And I don't, know, and I don't mean that as, like, a bad... Like, it's okay to be quiet, but, uh... Let me rephrase. What kind of entertainment are you interested in, in doing, I guess? What kind of dreams are you having? Um, okay, it's kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, I have, I have dreams of, it's, it's like I'm a, like a cartoon. Um, and like I'm hosting a talk show, but there's no audience in front of me. I guess it's like, like radio, but, and okay. like television, but, but, but there's no audience and. And, and like you're I'm a cartoon. Cartoon. Here, and I don't. Like, do you want to be like a, a a voice actor? Is that like 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 for like cartoons and stuff? No, 
it's it's not like that. It's it's different. I don't I don't quite know. Uh okay. You wanna be a, a cartoon that does a talk show, but there's no audience. At least start in front of me, yeah. Oh, like you're oh, like you're on TV, so like people can like watch you from home, I, kind of. I deal. think so. I guess. I don't, okay. I don't. I don't really know about that cartoon part, but like, it sounds like you might be interested in being a a talk show host. I think. I <laughs> um, guess. I I just don't want people to look at me. Understood. My, my teachers kind of are having trouble with that one. Yeah, I mean, I'm I, I'm. I'm gonna let you know if you're gonna be an uh, an entertainer, uh, being seen is kind of all of it, actually. <laughs> Unless you went the voice acting route, you could always do that if that's kind of your deal. But that's not really entertainer, I guess. That's an actor, which is different. Yeah, which is what they they were saying too. Um, yeah. I just I I I think that this could be something but i don't know i mean i have to be seen to be an entertainer right like i mean i guess not i mean like hey you can't see me now right like you could do radio if if that's your thing you don't i'm not a cartoon though i can let you know that i'm a real person as far as i know sure okay wait you didn't sound sure when i said i'm not a cartoon do you <laughs> Um, sorry. No, I'm just joking with you, Sorrel. If you're going to be a talk show host, you're going to have to learn to give, give and give, give and get a little bit. I don't know what I was, that was weird. What was it? Give and get? I don't know. You also have to be okay saying things that don't always make sense to people. Okay. See, this is the, that's the thing. Uh, you, you said you were what, 16, 17, something like that? 15? Um, I don't know if you said. I didn't. Um, I, should I have said? I'm sorry. No, no you I'm shouldn't kidding. have. I'm sorry. I was assuming because you said you just got your role. I'm like, that's kind of... They said so like I got a, mine, I guess. Like a year ago, I got it like okay. 14. So I'm yeah. 15 now. Okay. Yes. I mean, you've... Okay. Young. Okay. I mean, you've got time. That means you've got time to, to figure it out, right? Like. But you figured it out right away, didn't you? I mean, not right away like it took me like a you know it takes a couple of months to like get used to it and like get into the like you have some bad times you have some good times you know learn like the the reason why we get our roles at that age right is so that we have the time to you know get it wrong a little bit before we're able to start getting it right so you know you you might be having issues with people seeing you right now but you know maybe you won't always have that you know maybe you'll be able to unlearn whatever anxiety that is did you have anxiety no not really but like i, I my dad was always in inter entertainment and media so it, it felt like kind of like second, second nature but like every person is different right you know it's okay if you have anxieties about it. Like it's it's not necessarily a very natural thing to be in front of hundreds to thousands to millions of people. You know, it's it's <sighs> millions of people. I I mean, dep depending on how popular you get, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I don't think millions of people listen to this show. But I when I I guess when I was doing like TV's and movie, like I, I was, it's like a variable thing. It can change over time depending on what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey. Oh. Are you? Are you good? Do you ever feel like you, so? You've never felt like maybe you got because you, you uh, did. Do you know anyone who ever felt like they got got the wrong role? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, I've known people who, who, who thought they had the wrong role, um, assuming you were just listening, you know, my, uh, friend Jasper wasn't necessarily the happiest about his role, uh, 
and of course I've known other people as well, you know, but uh, you find a you find a way, right? We all have to. They all found their way. Most of them, you know, not everyone does. Uh, but hey, I think uh, it's it's a lot of uh, persistence, you know, of making something work for you, you know, rather than necessarily being. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, most of them did, yes. So it's been a while since you heard from Jasper? I did. I don't necessarily like what you're implying. I'm not, um, I'm, not, I, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to imply anything. I just... I, I, I know. Just it, sorry. Um, I did, I'm sorry. That's what I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have... I understand. You were in a... You were young. You are <laughs> in a place where you have not had to do your role for very long. Um... This is, I imagine, the first time it's been really expected of you to try to, like, fit into society, right? Like uh, like this, you know? It might not have been the role that you were uh, hoping to get, you know? But, you know, we all have to work with what we're given, you know? That's kind of life. I guess. Yeah. Hopefully I do better in my classes. I don't know. I feel like I've been falling behind. Oh, you got to do good in those classes, Sorrel. That's, you don't want <laughs> They're just all, like, public speaking classes, and, and they make you stand up there. Um, mm-hmm. Last week they made us wear, like, clown makeup and do... The- oh, I love the clowning class, actually. That was, <laughs> I was a big fan of it, personally. Just because there's something about clowning that's really fascinating. It has a very rich history. Yeah, I... I- I'd love to explore that history, you know, from the book. Rather than experiencing it. Yeah. I I guess I'm just still I'm still lost on what the the stranger wants from me. Don't know how to best do my role. Feels like everyone else has it so easy. Well, I can almost Guarantee you, Sorrel, that you are not alone, that there are many people who have struggled with their classes, struggled with their roles. You are not the first and you aren't going to be the last. That's for sure. Um, and yeah, maybe talk to your guidance counselor, you know, maybe they can help, you know, figure out what it is that's not necessarily clicking for you for this role. And maybe they can... They can help start pushing you uh, in the right way. Yeah, uh, I, I hope so. Yeah. Do you uh, do you have a song you'd like to listen to right now? I <laughs> sometimes forget this is a radio show, uh, so we do play music. Uh, the the song I've kind of lately been listening to is uh, "Hope It Was Worth It" by My Heart My Anchor. Oh, okay. That's kind of an interesting song. I like that. You uh, get over there. Yeah. Um. There's a. Uh. There's there's, there's someone at my uh, there's someone at my door. Uh, oh. I, uh, I, are I you think okay? I to, uh. Yeah. I think I'm fine. Um. I just need to go get the door. Uh. uh, uh okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for Yeah. No. Me, for sure. I guess. Um. All right. Yeah. I no. Gotta, uh, uh, oh, um, this is, uh, okay, uh, this was Hope It Was Worth It by My Heart, My Anchor. I'm coming clean, this is exactly where I did.
fell too far And I'll give you my all Build me up, break me down And still keep me around Just long enough For you to get all that you wanted That was All I Know by Nightlife. Sorrel, if you are listening, I hope you are, are okay. Uh, hey, um, Reggie, uh, can you uh, 
if you can, while uh, during this next bit, if you could just call again uh, to <clears throat> uh, just check in. I'm sure our audience would like to know as well at some point. Um, uh, uh, so, gosh, I was going to say something about nightlife, but I'm going to be honest that uh, huh, um, uh, duh, duh, uh, duh, 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 duh. fun fact. Um, that, you, you, oh gosh, um, uh, hey, uh, let's, you know what, I think right now we need a song that will help us dial in, uh, because I think we just need to dial in a little bit right now. Uh, this is 404 by Curse Words. That was 404 by Curse Words, a song I've been playing on repeat uh, more often because it just really helps me just get in the zone, just keep on going, just, you know, uh, when I do like my early morning jogs or like when I like got a study uh, or now. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, sometimes you just need a song that'll help you do that. And this was that for me. Uh, we've got another caller here. Let's bring him on. Hello. You are on 2048 AM Voices in the Woods with Lil Harry. Who's calling? Um, can, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can oh, you hear good. me? Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Welcome to the show. Uh, what's on your mind? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Not, not right now. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. Oh. Um. <laughs> I was just, you know, that, as one does, thinking about things in the past. You know, I I came here as a child, and 
And sometimes that can be a little difficult. Yeah, so so uh, you weren't born in the sublime, is what you're saying? Oh, no, no, yes, yes, no. Oh, no, no. Yeah. You know, some things are the same, and some things are different, and I stumbled upon your radio station, and I appreciated how you, you expand minds in a very... Oh, of course, a very, a very okay way, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but I, I'm glad to hear it, yeah. N- no, I said later. I don't need that right now. Oh, do you um, have... <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. Those sorry. are your kids, I assume? Oh, my... Um, no, no, no. <laughs> so silly. Um, my cousin... Uh, not my cousin. You see, sometimes when you get old, you start thinking of people and things from memories, and, well... Sometimes you see them. And that led me to think that maybe I just need to reach out and hear some of the old tunes, you know? Yeah. From back in the day. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, not to pry. You just said something there that was a little interesting. You said you, you're remembering them and then you see, are, I'm, are your cousins there? Have you ever thought of a song so much? Uh-huh. And then you hear the song in your mind? Yeah, well, all the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like that. It's like that. I imagine the same thing does happen when people, you know, get older and think of a person. Sometimes you... You think of them start and then you seeing them. see them. Hmm. I'm not... Uh, you, you know what? Maybe I'm not at that age, so I, I, uh, not to say you're old. I'm sorry that I feel like that might have been. Oh a little no, rude. no, no! That's uh, that's yes, I am. It's you know, that things your body changes, things changes. Yeah. They don't make things the way they used to, especially even you know lotions. I feel like I've just been so itchy lately. Um, oh, because that happens when you get old too. You know, you don't you don't hold on to that water the way you used to. Um. That's not a thing I I I've necessarily heard. That's so you. Uh, I got that to look forward to. I get itchy, and I lose water. I don't know what well, you like. You sweat. A, I'm sorry. That feels like a personal question. Oh, the night sweats. Yes, but we won't get into that. Yeah, uh, the I, the night sweats <laughs> could be part of the itching. Anyway, I didn't come here to talk to you about my what? skin problems. Of, I, I, ima- I imagine not. Uh, what's on your mind, Susan? Well, there was this song once that I heard. I can't seem to quite remember it. Something about wandering lands or something. I don't know. The memory is kind of starting to go, too, as well. The other day I forgot to order broccoli. And it was the weirdest thing. Like, I thought I ordered the broccoli. But then I just forgot to order the broccoli, and so the broccoli never came. Order the broccoli? Oh, I'm a lunch lady. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, so, Mm. so like, you were in charge of, like, ordering food for this. Okay, that makes more sense. So, a shame those kids aren't going to get any broccoli, but. uh... Yes, it would be a shame if they didn't get their broccoli. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I assume that that's an easy fix. You could just order the broccoli. Oh, well, see, the thing is, is when you forget to order the broccoli and it doesn't come in on time, you need to improvise. And luckily, I have a very, very good relationship with some of the local the local marts and have hmm. permission, you know, by, by the one itself um, to be able to nourish the children as I see fit. Within reason, of course. You know, you still have to follow the guidelines and the rules and yeah, things yeah, like I'm, that. I'm sure there's um, some board somewhere that's deciding what we what we can and can't eat. Actually, I, I don't know what school you work at, but from another student to a lunch lady, hmm. if you can find better pizzas, I would I th- I think it's a good investment because the hmm. pizzas that they serve are like they don't taste like anything, you know? Mm. So if, and I don't know if that's like a sauce thing or 
I think the students at your school would probably like like a little better pizza, you know? Yeah, that that does make sense. Yeah. That is the number one complaint we get. But, you know, unfortunately, fortunately, I don't have to make those decisions. Oh. I just have to order the things that, you know, are required of me as a good lunch lady does. God, you, oh, I guess, huh, that would be a different person who does decide what, okay. It kind of sucks. Hmm, yes, well, we're all here to do our role as, as it is written. So true, so true. Right? We're here to, yes. yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, yes. I think we're on the same page. Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite brand of lotion yet? Uh, <laughs> uh, huh. Do I have a favorite brand of lotion? I guess I kind of get the same one a lot. So I, I don't necessarily know if it's my favorite, but it is like the one there's like a, there's like a Vaseline, like a, like a Vaseline mm. lotion, you mm. know? I've been trying that one lately. It's been very good. Yes. Good. Yeah. Helping with the, the itching. I yes. Hope. Yes, you know, That's it's amazing good. how how one day you wake up and your skin just feels a little scaly in places it didn't feel scaly before. I don't know. Something must be happening with the water. Scaly? Yes, I'm sure. It's an old thing. My doctor told me that it wasn't anything to worry about, that it'll probably resolve itself. But, you know, I can't just sit around and wait for that to happen. Yeah... There's children to feed. Um, Susan. Yes. And I, I know that I'm, again, asking a question that might feel a little personal, but I, I, I generally think in these cases, it's probably best to be a little upfront so that, you know, people can be informed and that they can make informed decisions, um, when you say that you're getting scaly and um, losing moisture, is, is are you in like a just a dry skin kind of way, or like uh, like like scale like an animal scale kind of way? Oh well, to be honest, I've never seen anything like it. Um, I did have a friend that it happened to once, something very similar, uh -huh. and then, but this isn't the same as that, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, no, people you, get scaly for many different reasons, that's including true. eczema. That, yeah, no, eczema, big, it's a big thing, and it, you know, maybe, you know, the, the, the curse isn't, you know, necessarily the, the, the only thing that could cause, I, um... I guess I would, uh, you mentioned that you might have missed an order. Um, no, but I've your... done that hundreds of times. Okay. Um, has... Oh, shh, I'm on the phone. Oh, uh, Susan. Yeah, another... Mary. Just like another thing another question that might feel a little personal oh of course we're like friends now or yeah, besties as they say be we're like besties the cousin that you see are they it sounds like they're trying to talk to you oh they just keep trying to get me to drink more water like that's gonna help I mean, if it's a hydration thing, it might be. So just just drinking water. That's the only thing I ask you to do. Why do you ask? Well, I mean, you know, there's the, the people with our cursed citizens. You know, they uh, the early stages of that curse can be some hallucinations. And, you know, uh, if the bodily changes i just i it it feels like the missing the orders thing and like i'm not saying that you're not doing your role i think you are it sounds like you're very passionate and you want to do your role 
do you think there's anything that you might be doing that could be co compromising in any way? Oh, and, of oh, course not. Okay. So you're, so you're doing your role, you know, outside of like, you know, you miss an order or two here or there. You're not going against the stranger's plans. You're not doing something. I don't know. I, I, it's. I mean, even if I was, there was, there'd be no way for the stranger to think to punish a lunch lady simply for supporting local businesses, you know, like that's something we all should want to do, especially when it comes to whether or not the children will have broccoli. I think there was a very specific thing that you said, uh, Susan, uh, in a way that I look, uh, Susan, um, I don't think it's wrong to support local businesses. Maybe it's a thing where the stranger and maybe the school would just prefer you get the orders in on time from wherever you're supposed to get them from. Well, I haven't gotten any warnings, and I heard that if you're cursed, there are signs, and I haven't had any signs. You know, just the eczema and my cousin, whose face I can't really see. But I hear that that's part of the memory thing. That's what my doctor says anyway. Are you a doctor? I don't think I am not a doctor. No, right? you're, so... you're correct. I am a 17-year-old kid uh, who is a host and entertainer. So, you know what? Susan, if your doctor says don't worry, I, you know, who am I to argue? Um, For what it's worth, I appreciate your concern. Yeah, I just, you know, I, if it were happening to me, I would want to know, you know, so I could figure out how to make it right. And so, you know, I, I just uh, making sure. Uh, is there a, a song you'd like to listen to, Susan? Um, I think that Ghost Light, Wonderland, Wonderland, Wonder. Wonderland by Ghostlight G? Yes, yes, that one. That gotcha. One. Yeah. That one would be nice. Yeah, we can do that for you, Susan. Uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I hope uh, maybe 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 drink some water. That could help with the scaly thing. Yes, yes, okay. Well, good day. goodbye. Goodbye. Good, goodbye. Uh, this is Wonderland by Ghost Light G. I don't want to be Alice. I just want to have people that might give a damn on the day that I vanish by my own hands. I don't want a big party, though I'm learning it's probably best in the end. If they don't know the things that I have planned Oh, to fall down the rabbit hole and never be seen again Spend my life down in wonderland Away from all things that I am Fall in love, fade away Doesn't matter at the end of the day Should I I don't need to be Shakespeare I'm not winning a Pulitzer anytime soon But the pressure is constant Though I'm not sure from where or from who Oh, to fall down the rabbit hole And never be seen again Spend my life down in Wonderland Away from all things that I am Fall in love
doesn't matter at the end of the day Oh, to fall down the rabbit hole and never be seen again Spend my life down in wonderland Away from all things that I am Fall in love, fade away Doesn't matter at the end of the day Should I fall down the rabbit hole Or live inside yesterday? When the lights go dim and my grace filled in Will you hear my voice? Will you listen? That was Dead and Gone by Eat Defeat. You know, uh, thinking about, you know, living in the past, I guess, and and, and remembering stuff. Uh, that line, will you hear my voice? Uh, will you listen in? Uh, that uh, was actually, we, <laughs> the Wolfpack and I actually, we, <laughs> Regine Donnie are laughing in the studio. Uh <laughs> Stop it! You're distracting me. Um, the uh, <laughs> we do it as like kind of like a call and response. Uh, like uh, our friend Jasper, who I was talking about earlier, uh, kind of started it where it was. Uh, 
one of us like because we're usually like very we're we're kind of a rowdy bunch you know we're always like laughing joking around or whatever so whenever like any of us really need someone to pay attention uh to something well they just like kind of just like look them dead in the eye and like <laughs> uh and just kind of yell will you hear my voice uh, <laughs> and they just you go back uh, will you listen in and that way you know they're paying attention it's i don't know it was uh, jasper started doing it once and uh, we just kind of latched on to it i guess um yeah Okay, uh, I think it's uh, about time that we uh, we uh, we did a break. You know, it's we got to do those ding dang darn uh, commercials because, uh, well, we have to pay the school back for letting them use our equipment somehow. So, uh, we will be back after these messages. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's your good friend and your host, Kendrick or Kendo, whichever you prefer. And no, I'm not Lil Harry right now. I'm me. You just finished listening to me as Lil Harry and will continue to listen to me as Lil Harry later. But for right now, I'm me talking to you. And the the main thing I want to say to you is thank you so much for listening to uh, our new season, our little mini season that we're doing here, Voices in the Wood. Uh, this has been a labor of love with so, so many people. This has been well over a year or so in the making since I first started conceptualizing this, uh, when I first saw Void 1680 AM um, by Ben Lowry uh, of uh, Bannerless Games. It, it, it's, I don't know. I've been, I've been noodling on this for so long, and I'm so glad to finally be able to have it out uh, for all of you to listen to. So I thank you so much. It, it means so much uh, to me, and I know everybody else who worked on this, um, that you are doing so. Uh, you can find uh, everybody who helped make this happen. You can find links to uh, their stuff, their names and links uh, in the description of this episode. You can just go click on that. Uh, you can go uh, find them on social media. You can go listen to the music that is in the show. We put links to where you can go find all of that uh, because we, we literally couldn't do this without uh, the amazing contribution of all of these very, very talented musical artists uh, who uh, let us use their, their their work here. So thank you to them. Thank you to you uh, for listening. And, you know, another way that you can help us is by uh, giving us a rating and review on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Podchaser, whatever it is, um, to help get the word out there about how you feel about the show. And let us know as well, because there's nothing that helps, you know, make our, our, our hearts lighter and our, and our minds less foggy than make, knowing that the work that we're doing is actually making a difference. So I hope it is doing so. I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I hope you let us know either by rating, reviewing us, or you can follow us on all social media at Tales Yet Told. Uh, basically everywhere that matters. Uh, and you can, you know, add us on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, whatever. Uh, and, you know, just let us know how you feel. And if you are looking for another way to support us, maybe in a way that's a bit more monetary, you could go get some of our Tales Yet Told merch at merchyetsold.shop. That's merchyetsold.shop. If you're looking for a new fit, you know, you're looking for some new tees, maybe a hoodie or a beanie. I, I hope that you will go to merchyetsold.shop, look at those clothes and say, man, Someone really put some thought into this, into the to color choices, into clothing choices, into design choices. Because I did. I did do all of that. And there are collections for every single one of our main series, Voices in the Wood, Whispers in the Sea, and Strangers in the Wood. Plus two collections for the Tales Yet Told Classic Collection, which has all of our logos and branding from before our redesign to the new standard collection, which has all of our current stuff designed by uh, our good friend Fabian at Rockets and Pens. Whew, that was a lot, but don't worry. I got a little gift for you staying at the end. And, and thank you so much for staying to the end of this. Don't worry, we're going to get you back into the episode as quickly as possible. But did you know that you could get 15% off an order at merchyetsold.shop? <gasps> Gasp! Who could have known? I did, because I made that decision. 
you can go over to MerchYetSold.shop, and if you place an order over $25, you can get 15% off that order by putting in the discount code Lil Harry. That's right. That's all caps, L-I-L-H-A-R-R-Y, Lil Harry. Put that bad boy in there, and you know, you got a 15% off a brand new, brand new do, brand new, brand new fit, brand new whatever it is. Yeah, the design. And if there's any other kind of merch, like maybe like, uh, I don't know, like sweats or something like eh, if you want to see something in the store, just let us know. Maybe I can make it happen. We'll see. All right. I'm just going to, you know, I've been talking far too long. So we're going to shoot you right back into the episode and we'll see. ya. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, from our little ad break that we had. You know, I know you have to sit through it. It's a whole thing. But, hey, we got to give back to our school somehow because, well, to thank them for letting us use this studio. Uh, for our next song, I had, um, well, this song actually was the last song. Uh, okay, so, like, a little bit of backstory. Me and the Wolfpack, uh, before we did this show... Uh, like last year, I want to say, uh, yeah, no, time moves by so strangely. Um, but uh, last year, uh, we were in a band. We had a band. It was a, we didn't like perform anywhere or anything like that. But whatever, we had already started like compiling this music because we had, you know, we we were able to find it and we were listening to it. And um, I think it was Jasper actually uh, who. Who, who recommend who wanted to like learn this song so we all got together and we learned it and it was, like, it was long story short this was the last time um this was the last song we played uh before uh Jasper left uh to go to college uh so this is therapy by uh Cold Rex when I am 29 when I am 29 I'll start going to therapy And that was Therapy by Cold Rex. <laughs> I'm still, like, imagining us in... <laughs> we were in... I think it was your... Yeah, it was Reggie's basement. That <laughs> His parents let us play down there, and they got so mad. Because... <laughs> whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've got another caller coming up. Uh... Hello, you are on Voices in the Wood with Lil Harry. How's it going? Who's calling? Uh, hi, uh, my name's Victoria Cooper. Uh, my friends, uh, my customers call me Vix. Hey, Vix, how's it going? What's on your mind? You know, a lot more than usual. Uh, 
I guess I'm maybe getting a little, <laughs> a little homesick. You know, I moved from the bigger part of the city out to the farm where I work now, and I love it. It's it's great taking care of the animals. Well, the chickens. <laughs> oh, chicken farm. And yeah, um, it's it's been good. Uh, I've been doing it for about three years now. Um, it, it's it's great. Um, and you know, I get to go take eggs to all of my neighbors and they really appreciate it you know on top of you know i do that on top of my like regular workload yeah that i mean that sounds i mean that sounds wonderful <laughs> if if i could get fresh eggs for <laughs> every day for my neighbors that's a, I, I that'd be wonderful yeah it, it would it would be if if there were more more chicken farmers but um oh. you know I, I didn't think i'd be um, I didn't think I'd be alone out here. Um, You're the only one working on that farm. Yeah. So, you know, um, you know, this is this is nice. Um, I, I don't get to talk to the neighbors I deliver to very often because I'm so so busy. That's kind of my only time to, you know, ch- chat with them because I'm usually up at like, you know, like three. Four in the morning, if I'm lucky, and uh, you know, there's a there's a lot of chickens. They don't tell you how quickly multiply. <laughs> yeah, that I mean, they do. Lay, I don't know how often chickens lay eggs. I, I imagine they multiply pretty quickly. If I, I, I how, wait, how many eggs do do chickens lay? I, I I'm realizing I don't even know. Uh, it depends on the age and the health of the chicken. If they're doing well, they can lay a clutch of. Anywhere between five to eight eggs at a time. Oh, <laughs> okay. What? Well, so that's uh, that's a how that does sound like a lot of work for one person. It is. Um, you know, I have a whole system. It's it's good. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot of work. It doesn't leave me a lot of of time. That's uh, maybe that's why I'm feeling a little, you know. Um, uh, I guess homesick. I mean, I don't really feel like the city was my home. I just spent a lot of time there, you know, going to school. I mean, you know how it is. And yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I guess I miss being spending around, uh, just spending more time around people. And uh, you know, but I, I love my neighbors that that I've you know gotten to know now. Like Maisie, she's so nice. <laughs> And you know, um, Stanley and Raphael, uh, he's so strong. Sometimes he invites me inside just for some tea. And uh, Miss Casey, she's also really kind, a little quirky. She smells really good. Um, uh, but I don't get to spend a lot uh-huh. of time with those people. I do care about them, but. Just the, you know, even just, taking the time to make this call is, you know, going to set me back a little bit, um, especially because of what's been going on I- I- overnight. Over, uh, what's been, what's been going on overnight? Oh, well, um, maybe this is a little TMI for the radio wave, but, um, uh, I've been missing some animals, uh, recently. Uh, something's been getting to them. You've been missing Anim. Oh, I'm, like, do you think it's like, like a, like a chicken thief out there, or? Oh, they're not getting stolen. They're, they're getting eaten. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. That, I mean, especially you're one person, like, how are you, that, wow, you are, you've got a lot on your plate, uh, uh, is there anyone you could get to help you figure out who's eating these chickens, or...? Uh, yeah, there... I mean, there is this one security guard I've been, you know, trying to bother to get out here. I know he's busy, but, um, you know, I've just been trying to get to the bottom of it myself, you know, in between work, but it's so strange just, you know, because I'm finding feathers and blood in my house, and... I, you know, it's it's starting 
just feel like whatever's getting to them is also coming inside, and I don't... Uh, I don't find anything. Um... Now, uh... Vicky? I, I, Vicky? Is that is that what you said, what your friends call you? Uh, Vix. Vix. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm... Um, it, uh... You said you live and work alone primarily, right? Yeah, um, I mean, you know, again, like, I, I try to make time for my neighbors, uh, like, Lonnie. R yeah. Vix, I don't want to be... I, I obviously don't... I am, This may be rude to ask, but have you potentially considered um, that you may be... A, experiencing some changes? Uh, changes? No, I mean, I've been feeling a little lonely recently. Uh, but I'm not going against anything. I love my role. Yeah, no, I mean, it sounds like you do. It, it sounds like you have a wonderful role outside of the fact that, you know, you have to do it by yourself. I, I, would, I would love... Um, you know, like a partner, or a, a partner. Or, uh, uh, you kind of lingered on that partner bit there, uh, for a second. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um. Oh, no, apologies necessary. Uh, I know, uh, I'm no expert, obviously. Uh, I, do you, it sounds like, you might be a little lonely at, at the moment. And perhaps, you know, um, in that kind of loneliness, you're, you know, you're, 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 you're struggling to, to, to fully enjoy your role as much as you would like to be. And I, I would, gosh, I, I, I'd hope the stranger wouldn't, um, uh, wouldn't, see that as being bad, right? You know, we all stumble in places. Um, yeah, I mean, how do you do it? I mean, you must have lots of friends, right? Uh, oh, uh, I mean, yeah, I've got the wolf pack. Um, and, you know, I've, uh, I guess, are you asking me how I made friends? Is that, is, is that what you... You know, in between doing this, I mean... You're still in school, right? But you'll be doing this yeah. full time at some point. Yeah. How do I make time for people, or how do uh, how do I keep keep the motivation going to keep doing the thing that I'm doing? Oh no, I mean, it seems like you also love your your role, but you know, you'll start to do it more often, and it'll take up more time, and then you'll start thinking about. Um, you know, how soft your neighbor's hands are and, and, and the specific perfume that she wears and, and how she maybe would taste. You know what I mean? I'm going to be honest, uh, uh, Vix. Um, I haven't personally had um, any of those thoughts. Um, oh, but it... Maybe, maybe when you're out of school, you'll understand. Well, I mean, I've, you know, I, it's not that I haven't been into people. Like, I've been, I've, I've been into people, and I, you know, sorry for any teachers listening to this. Uh, I, I've been, I, 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 I understand the desire to be with people. Um, the tasting thing, on the other hand, uh, alongside the, the... Did I say that? You did. Uh, you did. Oh. That's really strange. I'm sorry. Okay, no, no worries. I just, it, uh, it, it seems, again, and this is why I kind of ask, I'm sorry, this is, this is incredibly personal for you and a little it's embarrassing okay. for I, me. I, I'm enjoying the talk. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I, uh, I just... I'm going to be honest, Fix. I don't really know where to go from here. Uh, I think maybe you should 
reach out to uh, an expert in um, in in the curse uh, and see maybe just like potentially, uh, especially you know if it is becoming an issue with like the chicken farming and and chickens are going, it sh- it would probably just be best to um, make sure that that isn't what's happening. Oh, I mean. I know you're trying to help, but I really think I'm okay. I'm going to get in contact with that security guard. I'm going to see if maybe um, anybody, uh, maybe someone in your grade is, uh, you know, assigned farmer assistant um, or or, or even grocery delivery or something, Uh, you know, something something like that. Um, uh, Sorry, I've been (laughs) rambling. I, I do have a song request. Yeah, no, yeah, uh, go, 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 go right on ahead. Uh, what do you, uh, uh, what do you got? Uh, yeah, let me do this quick. My teeth have been cutting my cheeks recently. Um, uh, I'd love to hear I Am a Resource by Craig Shea. Yeah, I can, uh, got that right here for you. All right, uh, Bix, I, uh, I hope things start changing in a more positive direction for you. Um, and you can get that security guard out there. Yeah, if I ever happen to be, you know, in a city again, uh, I'll lease some eggs at your school. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. This is I Am A Resource by Craig Shea. When I was 18, I said what? What was not for me be? Because of, because of your habits, I'm cautious. Now I'm more anxious, sleepless at 23. There's more that I can see. I've got guilty blood on guilty hands and darkened eyes. My restless mind, I don't always have the courage to say I love you. Oh, I get scared, I'll fuck it up. If it's not you or me, then it must be me And I was wrong when I was 18 It's different now at 23 A Xanax and a shower I'll feel better in an hour I am a resource, a limited thing Sometimes just a paycheck A song at a Christmas party But sometimes I'm more I move with freedom and purpose. I mask my tired eyes. I talk to every stranger I meet. I see the light in every place. For a while, I run away. For a while, I run away again like a child. It's always the truth this time 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 Fuck! It's always the truth this time
taste of the end of the world The air is made of juniper and chlorine Every living creature wants to sing your praise It's summoned from the honeybees They won't make a cry And that was Kingdom Come by Missouri Surf Club. A song that I generally like listening to just on my way home after school, you know. Uh, we, we, don't really, we don't really get back uh, home until after the sun goes down after this show. So, you know, I'm always uh, driving home. The sun is coming down over the uh, skyline or whatever. And it's, I don't know, something about it just kind of puts me in my own little world. You know, I guess sometimes we do need to be in our own little world and sometimes being in our own little world for a little too long is maybe not the best for us. So, <sighs> sorry, still just thinking about Vix. And Vix, if you're listening to this, I, gosh, I hope you get that security guard out there as soon as you can because worried about those chickens. Uh, all right, uh, let's move on to our next song. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, this is actually uh, one of the uh, first songs uh, that we got during, uh, like, uh, I won't delve into our secrets of how we got this song, you know, got to keep some uh, <laughs> some company secrets here. Uh, we're not a company. We're just kids. Uh, whatever. We got to, <laughs> but when we got our first batch of songs, it was quite a surprise uh, how different 
the music was that we were getting versus what we had seen in the Sublime. Um, and I remember this specific song stood out to me because, I mean, well, you'll hear. Uh, this is uh, Dead and Gone by American Television. That was Dead and Gone by American Television. <laughs> that solo, it's just, I, I don't know. It's just, it, <laughs> I tried so, so hard to be able to recreate anything close <laughs> to that solo. And it's, I'm just not good. <laughs> I'm just not good is, is what is that. There's a reason I'm an entertainer and not a musician. Partially it's because Entertainer is my role, but also those things kind of go hand in hand, you know, sometimes. Uh, we've got our final caller for this evening, so let's just load that up. Hello, you are on Voices in the Wood with Lil Harry. Who's calling? Hello. Hi. Hello, is anyone there? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you're, you're on Voices in the Wood with Lil Harry. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Can you speak up, please? Oh, um... Uh, can we, Reggie, can you make, uh, hello? Hello? Oh, can you hear me? too loud. Please. Too loud? Okay, back down. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Reggie, back, uh, how's this? That's better, thank you. Amazing. Sorry about that. Well, uh, welcome to Voices in the Wood. I'm Lil Harry, your host. How's it going? Is that Harrison? Uh, well, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> Harrison's my father, but you could call me Harry. Oh, it's Ruth. Oh, maybe you remember me as Mrs. Norman. Miss, Mrs. Norman? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh my! Oh my goodness! I haven't. Uh, I haven't heard from you in so long I'm, since you retired. Are, are you? Uh, how's it going? What's on your mind? Oh, I. I wouldn't say that I'm retired. Harrison, I did notice that a few songs ago there were quite a few cuss words in it, and I wanted to ask if that's uh, normal for I, radio these days. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, uh, it is, uh, I guess, uh, generally it's not normal, but it is on 2048 AM, Voices in the Wood, because... Uh, for some reason, music from outside of the Sublime is just a lot more uh, 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 vulgar than <laughs> uh, than uh, uh, than here in the Sublime. I'm 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 so sorry. Oh, it's okay. I uh, 
I have to imagine that that's what the kids like listening to these days, and and well, I'm I'm trying to reclaim a bit of that myself. So I um I I want to understand, and I wanted to to talk to. Um, was that your band that just played? That just played? Oh no, no, no! That was uh, that was American Television. I uh, I could have sworn that was you. I would recognize uh, that anywhere. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that so much. No, I I wish I I wish I was that good. But we, no, me and um me Reggie Donnie and I, uh, Jasper's uh, graduated, so uh, he's not really around anymore. But uh, we uh, uh the we uh. We don't really play uh, anymore, actually, so. That's too bad. Well, you were good. Jasper was the weak link. He could go. Okay, okay. Whoa, oh, okay. I mean, I think Jasper was probably the the better one of all of us. I mean, he, he was so talented. No. and. No, I don't no? think that's, no, that's not true. That's okay. not how I remember it at all, and my memory is sharp as a tack. Sharp as a tack. All right. Well, I, you know, I wouldn't say that to to his face. I, I don't know where he is, uh, but I, I would, I wouldn't say that to his face if I were you. Well, I don't know if I'll have the chance, and that's okay. It's been a um, it's been an interesting last year or so yeah. that I've been uh, on my own. Um, and I realized after some uh, messages and, and conversations with some young folks who have been coming to visit me that it's, uh, it's time to reclaim my youth. Okay, yeah. I, hey, you are never too old to be able to have a, have a good time, be energized, do what you want. Yeah, I say go for it. Oh, I wish that it, I wish I felt energized. I actually I didn't even mean to call the radio station. I just need help with my peanut butter jar which is on the top shelf of my cupboard and I I can't reach it anymore. I I'm, I'm getting shorter. I I knew that this was part of age, but I I'm, I'm much shorter than I would have expected to be it. Well, anyway, yeah, uh, I'm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know if I can. Do you have like a stool or like a chair that you could stand on? Could you just come over? I. <laughs> I. I. I Are don't you? know. I. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I. <laughs> I don't know if I can just come over. Right, we're in the middle of the show. I guess. I mean. I guess technically we're right at the end of the show. So I guess. T I guess. So a, a, you could come over. <laughs> Yeah, I guess t I guess technically I could come over and help. Is that <laughs> who are you trying to call? I don't remember. I'm sorry. It's okay. But um, while I while I have you, I thought that um, maybe you know there's uh, I I walked outside today and there was an, another roll of toilet paper on the house and another I batch of Vix's nice eggs splattered on my windows and oh, do you no. um I I don't know who's doing this I I don't understand why anybody would have anything against me I'm so sorry I think sometimes and excuse my language sometimes kids are crap um and Please don't speak like that I'm on the so, phone to me. I'm so sorry. I just, it's true though. Sometimes kids just suck and they're mean. And I don't think you deserve that. You're, I, you were honestly one of my favorite teachers. I, no. uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry that people are doing that to you. Mm -mm. Thank you. Teaching or assisting teaching was yeah. Uh, the greatest joy I've ever had, and I, I I feel the closest I ever got to fulfilling my um my role, and I don't think I will ever find what I'm supposed to do, and 
I, you will reach an age one day, Harrison, will you, you will realize that the things that people expect from you are just, it doesn't matter. It's about what you want to do. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, no, that, that makes a lot of sense. I, I mean, I, like, of course, within the bounds of our roles, right? But yeah, no, I, I think that makes a lot of sense. Like, as, you know, when you're doing stuff, you got to make sure at least some of it's for you, right? You know, it being, finding joy in the thing that you're doing. You don't want to be miserable forever. You don't. It's a waste of time. Take it from me. Do you feel like you wasted your time? Not anymore. Not now that I have decided to reclaim it. And though I'll never have the time that that I lost, you know, I, I can't regain the years. I can try to regain some of the feelings. Being young, being youthful, it's very valuable, Harrison. And you don't know it until you're older. So please enjoy it. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll definitely try. I guess, if I can ask, what have you been doing since, you know, you uh, moved on from teaching? Well, I rearranged my kitchen, and now I can't reach anything on the top shelves, and that's been sort no. of the main issue that I've had lately. And um, Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. You're going to come and help me with the peanut butter, yeah? I can... <laughs> I can... <laughs> I can try. I, I, we gotta wrap up the show and we gotta, I, are you, are you sure you don't have like a step stool or like a chair? You could climb on a counter. You know, I mean, you can't be like that much shorter, you know, you, there's gotta be something I'm like eight, can, I'm 80 years old. I am not climbing on any counters. You know what? That's so fair. That, that's so fair. That does sound... Is there, is there not anyone there, like a neighbor, a next door neighbor or something that could help? No one's been around here in a long time. Sometimes I just appreciate the solitude and look into the woods. Y yeah. Yeah. What do you, what do you see in the woods? Silence solitude peace understood um is you know i uh i might have some time after this show to come if you can don't say it on air well uh i'll <laughs> My uh, address? No, don't I'm say your five, no, five, no, five no, no, Euclid no, Avenue. No, <laughs> you the don't. The key is underneath the front mat. Could, you can let yourself no, in. No, why would you do that? You. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, either I or someone else will be there <laughs> to, later to. To help you with, with the peanut butter. Um, Thank you. Of course. Uh, you know what? Uh, what else for my my favorite teacher's assistant? Thank you so much. Um, but uh, since I've called in, um, there is a song that I remember the kids speaking about. Maybe you can help me remember it. Yeah, sure. I go. Uh, do you remember lyrics? person who made it, title, anything like that? Uh, it was made by a person named Charlie Monroe. Charlie Monroe? Uh, Is that, do you know any, any we have artist? A, of, we have a Chaz Monroe, if that's what you mean. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, we've, uh, we've got some stuff in here. Hold on, wait, let me, uh, let me look to see what of Chaz's stuff do we have here? Um, there was something about being a pilot. Oh, oh, uh, piloting giant robots as a form of gender expression? Say again. Piloting giant robots as a form of gender expression? Oh, that can't be right. I, well, that's, that's the only one that has to do with piloting. Oh, okay, well, 
I, I just remember the kids talking about it, and so I feel like step one of reclaiming my youth is understanding the children. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, I hope you're doing all right. Um, and I, uh, I'll come over regardless of if someone else comes, I'll come in just to check on you just in case, but in, and on, on the, on the chance that I'm hoping for that no one has come there to help you with your peanut butter, I will, I'll, I'll get up there. I'll bring a ladder as well. So you can just have that in your house if that's okay. Thank you, Harrison. I always liked you much better than Reggie. Okay. Reggie can hear you. I do want to be clear. Um, I know. Okay. <laughs> Reggie, you have some work that needs doing. Harrison, you you are such a star. I, I just think you have such a bright future ahead of you. I appreciate I I appreciate that. Um <laughs> I will see you. I'll 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 see you later tonight. Thank you. Of course. Uh, this is piloting giant robots as a form of gender expression by Chaz Monroe. Yeah, the guilt never leaves you, never leaves you. 
I don't believe what they told me. Something about morality. But I was already gone by the time they told me about homosexuals. Catholic, you'll never leave you. It's not something you hold on to. But Catholic, you'll never leave you. And that was Catholic Guilt by Batty, a song that I have very specifically hidden from my parents. Unless they're listening to it right now, in which case, hey, Dad, that's Catholic Guilt by Batty. Uh, yeah, why did I hide that from my parents? Why do I feel the need to say that? I guess I didn't, you know, it's, I guess listening to Miss <laughs> Norman, I, um, I never really, I guess, thought about the difference between the music that we have on here, the music that we've pulled from outside of the sublime and the music that is normally here. No, I guess I never really picked out the, it's more vulgar, it talks about things that I've never really, you know, you know, go, going on about like, you know, I have, I'm going to be so honest, that song by Chaz, I have no idea what it means to pilot a giant robot. I have no idea what gender expression means. Um, but it's interesting that music from outside of the sublime, you know, talks about all of these things. It feels like a very messy, chaotic world, if I'm being honest, you know. I'm learning a lot uh, through this show, which is kind of, you know, the reason why we do it. Um, a lot about ourselves, a lot about, you know, others, you know, makes you think, I guess. Lots of things to think about. Well, uh, with all of that said and done, no, I, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention, uh, if you're listening to this, and I really hope you are, uh, uh, happy birthday, Jasper. Uh, it has been six months since uh, the last time we talked. And I miss you. We miss you. The, uh, the, the <laughs> we, the wolf pack, miss you. And so, uh, happy birthday. And for everyone else listening, I hope you had a good time traveling back with us and a portal to a world long gone, and a den of our own nostalgia. This has been 2048 AM, Voices in the Woods. I've been your host, Lil Harry, backed, as always, by my boys behind the screen. Wolfpack, let them hear ya! And that is that on that. We will talk to you all tomorrow with some more cool jams from your friends out here at the school that we go to that I won't say the name to because you really shouldn't be talking about your personal location on air. And don't forget, even if a tree falls in the woods and there's no one around to hear it, it still makes a sound. See you all tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.